drive down Jakarta on the toll road here. Alright, so now we're in Pondo Ginda. Alright, so this is Midori Japanese restaurant here. This is where we're gonna eat at, but first, we're gonna go over here to Versisa Hot for a massage. Kind of a concept thing going. First, we get the massage, and then we go eat some Japanese food. This place was established since 1983. This is pretty awesome. Uh, they del they made this place for uh, ex Japanese expats to uh, have a place to be. The restaurant, everything. All right, so let's go inside. So there's the restaurant right here. Walking through, curtains here, traditional style, the Japanese old school restaurant there. There we go. Let's walk up the stairs. massage today um, I'm wearing a surgical mask disposable one uh, and I had to maintain the sheets before I got on here that's a good thing I'm very hygienic they gave us a bottle of water here's my regular mask right here so I'm wearing a surgical one just for the massage only and the ladies you just see when she comes in they look like <laughs> they almost look like healthcare workers with the gear they got on they either wear uh, the long gowns the face shields surgical mask gloves because they have to get up close and personal with the uh, customers. That's why they're doing it. So we have an hour. I'm getting an hour long massage. Do the massage. After this, go downstairs, eat some food. Uh, eat some, try some Japanese food. Can't wait. Wait to see. Alright, so I just got done with my massage. I'm on a robe, getting ready to shower. Uh, so we're going inside here to the uh, restaurant, Japanese restaurant. Walking through the doors here. Doing it. Papa. What's that? Nini? Sushi. Yeah, sushi, yeah. Get it going, nail. Here's the sushi rice, 16 variety of sushi. We got shrimp, we got tuna, we got salmon. We got some uh, salmon eggs all up in here. It's gonna be really good. This looks like uh, squid, octopus, crab. Uh, then we have uh, some ocha. I think you have some ocha over here. And then it's another thing of miso soup here. So we're waiting on the cold noodles of chosoba. The great thing about Japanese food is that it is really healthy for you. It really is healthy for you. You don't see any fried, much fried stuff here. Uh, miso soup has been known to help with uh, prevent breast cancer for women. So that's a good thing. I got a, a noki miso soup with the noki mushrooms. Let's dig in. Try this miso soup. A gnocchi miso soup. Just uh, the mushrooms here. This looks so good. Try the broth first. Mmm. It's really good. Tasty, salty. You, you can taste the miso in there. Well, a lot of people, may, many of you may not know, is that it's okay in Japanese restaurants to, to sip, slurp your soup. Uh, it's actually good to do that. Other kind of the, other cultures, they may feel like, hey, that's that's rude or whatever. But in Japan, you, it's okay. Japanese restaurants, it's okay to do that. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. That was delicious. Dig into these mushrooms here. 
much we're going. Mm. It has that kind of bitter creaminess to it that mushrooms tend to have. Really, really good. Really, really good soup. Okay, so now we have the sushi here in front of us. Uh, right here we have our wasabi and ginger to go with it. Wasabi you can put into the soy sauce if you want. Right here, which I always do. And mix it up a little bit, mix it up to put some spice into it when you eat your uh, sushi. Now, one of the good thing, one of the things about sushi, again, something me and people know, you can either use chopsticks or your hands. Either one, you can use either one. So we dig in here. This one, a little tuna roll right here, wrapped up in some seaweed. Stip it in. Now, sushi is meant to be eaten in one bite. Wasabi, the seaweed, that's really good. Country with the fish. With that. Let's go in with, um, let's go on with this one right here. I'm gonna put this down. We go in with what I think this is shrimp right here. Right here. Digging into the wasabi sauce, the soy wasabi mixture here. Dig it in. That's real good. Oh. That was sushi. When I was living in Japan, we used to go fishing. And after we get back from fishing, right there on the dock, we cut the fish up, eat, eat, eat some of the tuna or salmon, whatever we caught that day. We eat some of that. Just straight up sashimi, whatever it may be. You know this crab, I'm going on a limb and say this is imitation crab, not actual crab itself. It looks more like imitation crab, but I'm pretty sure it, it, it's it's gonna be good. Um, let's go with, this is like uh, ahi right here. This is like ahi tuna right here. I keep dropping the chopsticks. It's like one of those right here, dip it in. You can see just how good it is right here. On point. On point. I don't go in here with these salmon eggs. Right here, I just don't know if they are salmon eggs right here. I'm gonna dip it in. They usually have a rich filling. The eggs are popping in my mouth right now. Really good. Oh, it's awesome. The horseradish kick. Spiciness to the, the wasabi mixed with this. I can still feel the eggs popping in my mouth right now. This is on point. I'm gonna go for squid. Oh. Wonderful. Think about eating things like fish or seafood, squid, octopus. They're really chewy. Really chewy. So, come by. Alright, how's it going with crab sticks here? I got some ginger on top. So, with it, dip it in some sauce here. This is gonna be hard. The ginger gives it like a, a sweet, kind of a sweeter taste when mixed with the wasabi. Very, very good. Very, very good. We have egg. This is egg with seaweed and rice. They usually put these together with uh, su these sushi platters right here. Just dip it in there. Mm. 
Mega sui. Mai cu. Mai bine. Mm, sauce. Right, so now we have a uh, chosobi. Uh, this is a uh, green tea uh, soba. Actually, this is my first time ever trying this. It looks like here's the soba. We have the cold noodles right here. You see the ice there with some seaweed right there. Uh, we have, this looks like a quail egg right here. And now you see we have some uh, ginger, some wasabi, and it looks like some spring onions up in here. And this looks like it's going to be soy sauce. Soy sauce right here. So, I've never eaten this before. So I think I'm supposed to do, maybe I'm supposed to pour the egg on there. I don't know. We're going to see and find out. I could just drink the egg. It could be something simple like that. Put the egg on there. Let's pour the egg in there. Got the egg there. And grab my chopsticks here. I take the noodles right here. Put them in the soy sauce here. Get them flavored up. Mmm. That's a very mellow taste to it right there. Cold noodles are something I never really ate too much of before. But it, <clears throat> just look at this texture of this thing. Let's throw some wasabi in there. Some is ginger. To bring some more flavor to the soy sauce and everything. Mix it up. Add some of the noodle soba back in there, noodles here. Stirring it all up. Not good. That's awesome. Some spring onions. Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh, that's good. But adding that spring onion puts another, another level to it. Oh, uh, this is really good. First time I tried this, I love this. This is really, really good. Just look at these noodles right here. Just like in uh, Chinese culture, Japanese culture, you don't chew your noodles, you slurp them up. all point I said I'm gonna try some ocha pour it in ocha is a, is a sort of green tea it's really really good for you let's see right here ah go mahashi my chopstick all over the table I keep dropping it today mm. that's good mm, cold Mm. But it's really healthy for you. It's a really healthy tea for you. It's kind of like uh, white tea. Then we have some uh, teriyaki chicken, it looks like right here. With some cabbage, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers. Right up in there. So this is like a full complement buffet we get going on right here. We have some uh, spicy sauce here. The dipping sauce here for the stuff here. So we have my 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 dipping sauce I made for the sushi. Here's some dipping sauce that they gave us right here. You see, we still have some sushi to finish. We have the teriyaki to finish. So I guess this is this right here is for this, or it could be for the you know put it together sauce in there. My chicken doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. There's a piece of chicken. Not cooperates. Why doesn't? I'm gonna use it, you know, dip in some sauce in there. Mm. 
My chicken has a smoky, sweet barbecue flavor to it. That's really good. Not dry, really moist. That's a good chicken right here. Super tender, super tender chicken. Let's try this more here. <clears throat> Dip it in the sauce here. Got the sauce. Now, the sauce looks like it has some spring onions, a little bit of peppers, soy sauce. Oh, good. They got perfectly good together. The sauce is a little sour. I go with the sweetness of the teriyaki with the chicken. It's a really good combination right there. Love it. Love it. Oh, we gotta finish this. Gotta finish up this food now. For all this food, it was great. Um, the sushi, I give it uh, five out of five. Really on point. The sushi, chicken teriyaki was great. The chisoba was good. The itaki mushroom miso soup was great. I, you know, this is a great experience today. All over this Japanese restaurant here. I love Japanese food. Uh, really, really delicious. Really good for you. Um, but hey, this is a Mandura Japanese restaurant. It was created for uh, Japanese expats living here in Indonesia since the 1983. So if you have not been to this place, come on down. Uh, we will link their social media information in the description box here. As always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comment box. Don't, for don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out.